T1 day number two. We'll get into it. Prepare for I mean, I, I, I personally still feel like Team Spirit has got the much easier draft to so execute here, but we shall see how it pans out. It's uh, Again, I, I don't like to underestimate these EG boys. I, I think they're a fantastic group. and blood. We'll see what they can pull off here for I game two. Because again, they, their tournament lives are slowly kind of dwindling away with all these draws and losses they've been having. You've only got one more day of group stage after this, so... You've got to get those draws and wins on the board because it's uh it's looking rather close now in the groups. That it is. Need to start finding those wins and again, Team Spirit, not an easy opponent to get that done with. They've got good vision here onto the high ground, so they see Pakas. They certainly do. They're just very, very patiently waiting for him to move down to that low ground, hoping that he makes that move. Nobody breathe, nobody make any sounds. The cars. He's moving. This is a this is patience from Zoe right here, John. Zoe would have been jealous seeing this. This this is a lot of patience. <laughs> Meanwhile, topside, there could be another fight to break out. They are still waiting. Maposhka waiting. No, Picaz. Is he gonna go? He is gonna go. And it seems like he is set to fall once again as the body blocks are coming out from Mira. And that'll be the first blood going the way of Collapse. Perfect start for the OLC. And they were waiting that whole minute just for Picard to move the wrong way. And he certainly does in the end. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't. They, they didn't show in Vision with that little movement out from Collapse. Probably on the edge of Vision at night time. They managed to sneak away. Nice little kill, and that's a necessary kill as well. We talked about the importance of getting this LT off to a running start. First Blood certainly does help balance that lane out a little bit more. Do you get the D ward with that information? But you already got the value from the ward anyway. You can take a look at that bot. Again, this matchup for Bloodseeker is not the best. I mean, you just come in, you get traded very hard with Moment of Courage. You've got the overwhelming odds that will constantly damage you out as well. It's a fairly safe feeling lane for Collapse. There is a little bit of a combo. Maybe you could gun down for upheaval blood right with the chains later on, but it's certainly not straightforward here for EG to try to force that in. Certainly not. Keep tabs on this one. Is, of course, mid lane, you're going to have Sea Smile against Lal once again on the Pango vs. Earthshaker. Uh, this one we've seen before. Sea Smile might have that advantage on the Shaker, but for now, Lal is providing a lot of harassment on the Pangolier. I think this should be a relatively close one. But in terms of CS, you, you kind of always favor the core shake. And that you do. So it's, it's a lot easier for him to just constantly deny out the wave. 5-5 five to five right now for Chris Lock. So he's going to have a little bit of an early EXP advantage, a little bit of an early farm advantage in comparison. Laurel's going to have to re work really hard to find some openings and force a lot of regen out, maybe even a rotation out for the Shaker to kind of recover. So he's got the bottle up. You feel fairly secure now for Chris Lock. But that top lane. Maposhka, actually in a bit of danger. Yatoro is going to intervene, and now Whisper's the one that could be in a bit of trouble. Yatoro gets the ensnare, but wasn't really banking on it coming out in the end and just backs his way out. Probably wouldn't have been enough anyway, to be fair. But the top lane is arguably going to be quite dominant for uh, for Team Spirit. See what, uh, what EG can do about it, but I dare say Maposhka and Yatoro should have a pretty damn good time. Should be... Should be a pretty fun time to just farm up. I don't think you're necessarily looking to get too aggressive as Batrider with a few levels can start to punish, although that does take quite a few levels nowadays for the Bat to start ramping up here. And as long as you can't gap close and try to use this Inkswell combo, then your aggression from EG is cut down. So a farming lane for Yatoro is going to be massive, especially if he gets this free ride into Battle Fury. That's where things can get really dangerous. Like the farming pace of Troll can eclipse the Bloodseeker with a Maelstrom very early on if the timings line up here. Over the Lotus Pool. Maposhka gonna have to back away. In fact, Whisper is getting a lot of stacks off. Maposhka in a huge amount of danger. He's gonna try and heal through this. Yatoro moving in, but no Whisper. He gets the kill. Just four or five stacks of Sticky Napalm, and sure they are able to secure one. Maposhka giving a, a very important kill away to the Batrider have to watch that again with levels up it's not hard to slint to run down here as a bad rider with that inkswell combination you have just just kind of play the spacing here play range you've got that 
pretty good advantage of not being melee heroes into the Batrider. Although a troll arguably, eh, you could consider a little bit. Overall, a rather back and forth start. Maybe a little bit more stable for the side of Team Spirit. Considering that little bit of an advantage you find yourself here for Collapse. The mid lane's really the deal, the difference maker right now. And the fact that Chris Luck is pulling quite a fair bit ahead, but again, it doesn't feel like Laurel's completely shut out of lane. He does have a little bit of an EXP Ready deficit. Looks to be Thanks. around a 200-300 EXP deficit. Eh, not the biggest, not enough for a full level advantage for Chris Luck. And I Laurel is working at harassment well. He's not even too far behind in CS. 16 to 4. Chris Luck 17 to 10, but you're still finding something here on the Pangolier. Yeah. There we go. We'll go again. See if we uh we've got those issues resolved. And, uh, that mid matchup we spoke about it, it has turned into a very even matchup, that's for sure. Same CS here between the Pango and the Shaker. Top lane, another attempt at Maposhka. And again, the sticky napalm stack's making it very hard for him to get out of this, but he does make it. Whisper and Matthew, they're doing a fantastic job just with this large camp, just pulling it back and forcing the lane backwards. Yatoro, Maposhka not feeling the most confident here, it seems, and... Where are you watching? Again, Whisper. Becoming a, a real nuisance. Mid lane, see, Small. He's gonna have his water room denied away. Looks like Lal's gonna find both of them. Pretty big opening. Not the best feeling in the world for that Shaker. He does have a slight EXP advantage again, but your Laurel's not too far off. They are trying to make another play top. Yeah, they're gonna make the jump into your Toro again. Whisper just stacking up so many sticky napalms, but they cannot secure the kill. Magic one charges make it rather challenging to finish the kill off, but well now Maposhka gonna go for a bit of a chase. Has another seed shot in just a second, but won't be enough for Whisper. He's gonna be okay. Forces out the salve for a little bit of regen. And that is a little bit of a win mid, though. Chris Luck's dancing around. That did have the favorite fire to pop, but Laurel's certainly applying that pressure. Like, this is not the kind of lane you'd expect for the Shaker matchup. I think we were used to seeing the Shaker crush this lane for the most part. Laurel is having a pretty fantastic time without rune control, with a CS going his way now, with forcing Chris Luck to walk back home. Pretty big wins. Matthew, maybe gonna go down here to the Warpine Raider. In the meantime, though, Whisper chasing down Yatoro, who needs some help ASAP. He's got some stick charges, but he might have to just man up here against Whisper. But no, he barely survives. Panda comes in with the upheaval, but Whisper, he went back in for it. He ends up dying first, but at least Panda does get a bit of a trade going. Poshka, he has 11, or rather 18 one charges, so he should be just fine. And he will be just fine at that. Manages to stay alive. Core for a core trade. Feels a little bit better for the side of Team Spirit. They forced a rotation out from the Warlock. Opening up that bot lane for Collapse to find a little bit more on that LC. Top CS right now as well. Not the best of news for EG. I mean, you're still finding farm for Picasso. The collapse is set to escalate quite fast here for his blade mail timing along with his phase boots. Two so far, 2k advantage for Spirit. Top lane again, Whisper, this time gonna be Hurricane backwards into the T1 tower. Slowed up, is still alive, gonna try and turn for Yatoro now. Yatoro, he takes too much damage! Oh, this Whisper Batrider just doing so much work. He might go down, but it's you're constantly just dealing with the troll. It's just fantastic plays from the bat. And it is. It's forcing a lot of pressure onto Yatoro, so. That Battle Fury timing's gonna be stalled out. I think your main issue is you're you're committing a trial lane up top for that. It's your, again, you're leaving this bot lane for Collapse to just kind of find that free farm into the blade mail. You're leaving that mid lane uncontested for Laurel. And he's already got the Orb of Corrosion up, so his swashbuckles start to hurt a ton. All to invest into this Bat Rider that's at, at best right now trading even. And that also slows down the EXP gain for Whisper on the Bat Rider, very EXP sensitive hero. So, Nat, those are the sacrifices you're making with us movement top. Sure, you're finding it thorough, but he's still farming up quite decently. He's not being slowed down too badly, and you're he's sacrificing small. your Batrider's EXP. 
Here he comes. He wants Collapse on the LC, but it has to run the other way because he was Sans, but now he can move right back in. Collapse taking a fair bit, but Lyle's now here to help out. And in fact, the LC is still not down. He just tanks all the damage that they throw at him, but he, he just won't fall. Collapse proving to be just too tanky right now, and at least they forced the rotation out from Lyle, so that is one thing they got. Problem is, Lyle might just find himself a kill now. But he wants see Smile rather than the Grimstroke. And it seems like he'll have to settle for the Power Rune instead. Yeah, they don't find anything big, but even though that is time wasted for Team Spirit to an extent, it is buying space out now for Yator up top. Right? They shift gears on EG to lock down bot to slow down that LC. They don't have enough to burst down. They don't commit the slam here either, although they commit now. There you go, there's a slam out on C Smile. Commits it on Mira. No wasting time for the Shaker. Just get the job done. And he does, though now C Smile may get jumped by Poshka and Lal. Rolling Thunder is available. C Smile looking for the Fisher to block their way. Get stunned again. Problem is Whisper is now coming in. So can they actually secure this kill? C Smile still jet juking and jiving, but does go down and now Whisper. How do you get out, sir? The Batrider taking so much damage already. We'll continue to run with the Ink Swell. The Swash will land, but it's still not enough. Whisper will make it up for another day. But they are going to lose their Earthshaker. Matthew's still trying to take down Mira. But Lal is still hanging around, so it's not very well advised. Seems like AG will eventually back their way up. Play it safe. They've lost the big target already on mid. And they forced to move in south from Team Spirit. This movement for Team Spirit, though, it does feel like they're getting way more space in comparison. Like, Yatoro, if you leave a troll alone, can just focus in on the tower, play with his fervor stacks, and start to solo push by himself. This LC already has full blade mill for collapse. Uh, boots into blink next, more than likely, and once you can start to play around with when that lines up with the level 6 of Mira, the timings are looking sharp for Team Spirit. Especially in comparison to, you know, the LC timing you saw from EG last time. Again, it, it's looking a little bit smoother here for Team Spirit. I like the ideas coming out from EG, but because of this lane for Whisper, he's going to have to sit back and farm. Trying to rush into the Octarine, just have more uptime, you're waiting for a blink out on Chris Luck, or the Ags, more than likely to blink first here. They'll try for a smoke out though. They will. EG, are they actually going to go with the smoke? It seems like they're just taking out the stacks for now in the triangle. Like Whisper at the very least is not very interested in going for a fight yet. Especially considering he does not have any points in Lasso. They show up mid lane instead. Chris Luck and, and Matthew looking at Mira. But no real great way of initiating this. It'd be a little bit challenging to try and go after Mira. He's going to be just fine. It certainly feels like this is favoring Team Spirit. This slow style of game now. The Atura is completely recovered. Obviously, Lal's already been having a great time, and so has Collapse, and they're, they're all at the top of the net worth board, these three cores of Team Spirit. DG slowly falling behind, and... So, with, the, with the draft they have, you, you kind of want to start setting tempo very, very soon. And they just need to recover, right? Like, this start for Whisper is just a little bit too slow. So again, just wait for that Octarine, wait for the Blink to be up from Chris Luck. And at least a couple more items on Pakas. Like, the Maelstrom is nice. That's really just going to be farm acceleration. Oh, maybe when you get Maelstrom BKB timing, it starts to feel a lot better. Which shouldn't be too far off once he can get some room for himself in the jungle. It's just way more efficient again for Team Spirit. Because when you leave a troll alone, with Fervor, it pressures the lane hard. They find objectives. They've got the jungle room for Yatoro alone to find in comparison to EG. They're sharing that with Whisper. They're sharing that with Chris Luck and Pakas, all the cores, dipping into those stacks. So no one here can really get that strong foundation they need with the space that's being provided here for EG. And, well, they've got the Mystic Flare ready with Mira at 6. And no blink well, for Collapse, although... He wanted to find out for that Rage in route. Soulbind's gonna come out, catching two of them now. Whisper gets a double lasso out, drags him right four. into Chris Luck. And that's a perfect Echo. What an initiation, Matthew! Perfect soul bind, and Whisper will be there to follow up. That's what you wanted to see. Pushed themselves too hard into those bounty runes there. The team spirit just again the potential for all of these soul bind combinations are there. 
You know, that's that's one. I don't know if they managed to get the Fatal Bonds off, but you imagine double Fatal Bonds across. Again, it's it's down to execution. You mentioned that in the draft, Mike. Even though that's not, you know, it's not the biggest one, they're showing that they can play off the back of that Soulbind quite nicely. And oh, absolutely. If they can hit that, if they can constantly hit that kind of fight, it gets a little bit scary for Team Spirit, but I don't think that's enough to dissuade him. You're, you're happy with the space your Tor is getting. He's working towards Battle Fury. He's not ready to go. You want the Blink up and collapse. He's got free reign down bot. Blink Dagger's not too far off now without timing. Although... Mira, he's small, he's dropping very low, gets the kill just in the nick of time. Problem is it may cost him his own life, though, as Lal is able to secure, but now Lal needs a way out. Ruptured up, he'll go for the swash. Teammates are incoming to help out the Pangolier, but Lal's taking so much damage here from Picards. In comes Whisper to help out as well. Lal is still going somehow, some way. Picards, he'll finally take him down, and he gets a free reset out of it. So now Maposhka who grouped up with him, is in danger, but here comes your Toro. Oh. They'll drop the golem right on top of another the head, and another double lasso, double lasso coming out. Oh, they just keep handing it to them. Ah, Whisper can't believe what he's seeing. They, they can't keep running in one by one like that. I think the moment you saw the rupture committed, there was no big counterplay to make. Laurel's just stuck in a really bad position. You have to cut your losses, prevent that bleed out. Instead, Collapse comes in, his Blink Dagger is now stalled out. Whereas he could have just waited for the Blink, get that Blink duel with a Blade Mail off, play with a Mystic Flare. The pressure is coming in. EG are the ones making these moves across the map, punishing Team Spirit for these missteps. And well, they're ramping up. You know that Octarine for Whisper, not too far off. The Blink Dagger's up and running for Chris Luck, so the big slams can come into play. And everything's lining up for Pekaz. That BKB timing we were talking about, he's got the room in the jungle now. He's got Ancient Priority. Once that Bloodseeker BKB comes in, you're gonna have to try to pin him down with a duel, but... You don't really have the output from Collapse to really just settle that without the Mystic Flare while that BKB's running. Lane. Like rotation from Chris Luck and Matthew. Swalk there, Mira cops the cops the uh, the Fisher into the blink and miss me. Well, they won't find Yatoro, but they'll take the Skyrath Mage. See, Smile still hanging around here. Yatoro will do the exact same, but seems like he'll he'll wait for the Earthshaker to leave before he gets uh before he gets that farm of the creep wave. And yeah, EG certainly looking like they're uh, getting much much stronger as the game goes on now. Team Spirit, they're the ones that need to find a way to catch up. Yeah, they're dragging a bit behind. <laughs> you need to build up more with Yatori with a full battle for you up. Again, with this blink timing ready on collapse, you want solo pickoffs. And they've got the smoke ready. Coming off cooldown for Mira. Just go for a smoke play. Go hunting. The smoke up top. Collapse and Mira. Oh, cars. Oh, nice block though. The Warlock gonna tank the gank here, Panda. Very good position as Collapse. Get his fish in. Oh boy, he gets stunned up. He's gonna try and go for the man fight, but Picard and see Smile. Able to get it done. There's really nice positioning from the Warlock as well to just kind of tank the gank, because Picard would have just certainly died had he been the one to get jeweled. Now, even the lasso out from Whisper cannot really hold anyone down. Both Maposhka and Lal are gonna be okay to walk out of it. Not the most worthwhile play coming out there from Team Spirit. Again, you want it to start to get some duels up. You do find one, but just unfortunate for that timing. Uh, with, with Panda just going up for the D-Ward and just blocking off. They had no further information. That was sheer luck for EG, but game senses go, and they avoid catastrophe for EG. Team Spirit can still on the back foot, still trying to get that build up. It's a ton of space for Yatoro going into his own BKB now. Into the S and Y, probably the Ags down the line. But this is not the big, big blink reveal we were hoping for. And now, EG, well, they can keep hunting. They certainly can. Into the Dire Triangle they go. Yatoro, he's the big man that they want. And it seems like they have spotted him. Echo Slam immediately out. No hesitation. Just deleting Yatoro off the map. And Team Spirit, they have no time to react to these plays. No. Like, they, they're just sitting ducks. Really good forward vision from EG being planted in that rotation as well. Like, they've got really good vision to just spot out where Team Spirit wants to farm up. 
And Team Spirit are the ones playing the War of Attrition. And then they're the ones that needs this game to slow down a little bit more here. They are being... They are grouping around on bot and trying to chase. Poshka really playing with fire, but AG, they are, they're not looking to take this bait. Here they are, because they do eventually end up moving that way. Whisper now, looking to make the play. Does have lasso up, but doesn't want to go too deep. Does back his way out immediately. They saw Lal in the Dire Triangle as well. They uh, they did not want to go into an, a bit of an ugly fight here against Team Spirit, and they do choose to just back off for now. Wait another day for your opportunity. And Team Spirit again. I mean, Picard is getting to the point where he's going to be uncontrollable. Like, he's got a BKB up now on the Bloodseeker. So even he can just join his team if he really wants to, but it seems like he might just wait till he has the Lincolns up before he really gets uh, gets too much more involved. Yeah, like the Blink Duel is still a threat. And if you can just lock in the Bloodseeker that way with a Blade Mail, it, it is still feasible for Picasso to do enough damage to himself here in this kind of engagement. Team Spirit, it's been a little bit quiet. Even for Laurel, I think it, it's just been a little bit too quiet. It only Collapse has been trying to make something happen in the map. With the Diffusal, perhaps, he could try to make a play. And they are grouping up top. They're, they're going to try for the Roche. And with a Troll, it doesn't take too long, but... There is some information here on the Radiant side. And they've got the Watcher, at the very least. Lal has sent himself a Warlock. Yeah, an ICC duel here for Collapse by the looks of it. Panda will go down. Make it pretty obvious Roshan is maybe happening here against Team Spirit, but thing is EG don't look like they're quite in position to try and fight. The this luck is moving his way in. Has not been spotted quite yet. Roshan is still alive, so he has time to get there. He is gonna have to do this on his own, but if he jumps in right now, he might have an opportunity. And Chris Luck, no, he's not gonna do it. The timing was almost perfect, but he does not uh does not want to go for that uh, that risk. Poshka may get caught here by Whisper. Doesn't chance up the Batrider. And now the Echo committed. Catching Maposhka and Mira. Both supports just getting deleted by the Earthshaker. And it's onto the T1 top tower for EG. Some sacrifices had to be made there for Team Spirit. I mean, you still find Roche. He's still in a very, fairly secure spot for Yatoro. He's going to have BKB up relatively soon, so... He, it, it is about time where the troll can start to make some plays, but EG, you can just see with how much jump they have, they're feeling extra confident. Like, there's not much really holding them back anymore. They've got the build-up they'd want. Bakaz, still fresh on the BKB, hasn't been forced to pop it. Lincoln's only two parts away. For Team Spirit, again, it's... It's like this weird mix where they've got to find these solo pickoffs. They've been they've been finding a couple with collapse. It's mainly only been the warlock, which isn't really the biggest target. So you need to you need to kind of build off more than that. Again, like when these bigger fights break out, you've got to duel Bakaz or Chris Luck. One of these two have to stop running around and doing damage here. And I think it's it's going to be a little bit easier to find Bakaz if he does commit. But your angles of jumping in for Team Spirit are limited. Maybe if Laurel manages to work his way into a blink at some point, that can alleviate the pressure on Collapse, but we're a long ways off from that, considering the itemization of Laurel. No, it's, uh, a while away, to say the least. Still a very low net worth uh, advantage right now for Team Spirit, less than 1k. Toro gonna back off the right moment. Well, Team Spirit rather grouping up to go down towards the bottom lane, it seems. The lines have been drawn towards the triangle of the Radiant side, so it looks like they want to maybe find this Bloodseeker. They'll miss out instead finding the Warlock. Panda, he will go down, but they have ruptured up. Collapse, though. Collapse going to go for the quick TP up, but no, the Fisher. Chris Luck again. Going to cancel the TP as Matthew does go. Pekaz, he's in a bit of an awkward position, but he's got his BKB to be able to get out of here safely. Meanwhile, Lal... Trying after Chris Luck, but not really going to have much luck with that at all. Hmm. In this case, killing off the Warlock is pretty big, right? You, you take care of the Warlock first, or remove the Golem, remove Upheaval. You can try to find that follow-up fight, force the BKB charge out from Pekaz, and you only trade Collapse. You're, you're not trading Laurel, you're not trading Ator, which is the bigger deal here. So you're feeling pretty happy. You don't find the biggest objective tier when top is kind of just overdue to fall. 
You might be able to find more, but you have to be careful about overextending so, here. They've got Maposhka, but he's got the heal up. Not going to be easy to burst him down. He's all running, but he is a bit trapped right now, and Yatora will just get right to work with the Battle Trance, and hell, even Panda. Not going to be so lucky to get out. Lyle's still chasing the Batrider, but Whisper might just... In fact, Concussive is there. Whisper looking to reinitiate onto Yatoro. Does land with the Ink Swap, but has no Lasso to play with. He's trying to do it the old-fashioned way, and he does at least get the Aegis Now Picars in with the Rupture. Does land on Poshka, but Poshka will go down. Yatoro wants out of this, but no. He'll go for the fight again. Picars will kite him out. The chase will continue. They can they actually lock down the troll long enough though. They still don't have Lasso up for another 20 seconds. Picard's now copying the Rolling Thunder, but they want Whisper first by the looks of it. Whisper trying to use that Firefly to get away. The chase is still ongoing. In comes Picard again. Oh, Back on your Toro, but the heels are out. Mystic Flare on Mirror. He's gonna go down. Meanwhile, Jewel out from Collapse, finding a kill onto Whisper, but now Collapse is in the middle of all this team fight. And he's gonna go for the fight anyway. But he's just dead. <laughs> what a mess. That was... That was nutty. Like, a lot of small things happening there. A good... A good flame break to cancel off that initial chase from Laurel. Meant that the Swash couldn't connect and Whisper gets to stay alive a little bit more. They have to commit onto him. Uh, the Fatal Bonds nuking down Laurel, forcing him to just TP home. Removing the Pango is an issue in the middle of this fight as well. Like, really well played from EG to hold up against that, up against the Aegis, and put themselves in a pretty good numbers advantage now if they wanted to make a play happen. And you don't have to worry about a secondary life on Yatoro. He does have the full SNY up, so that could be something to help out Yatoro in the middle of these chases. He does not have something like his Shorter Ags. He is going for the Basher next into a Silver Edge. And again, like, the troll can start to rack up some gold here, but it's not like Pakaz is doing too bad here. Mjolnir almost done on the Bloodseeker. And then, what, we're just really looking for maybe something like the Ags or the Shard here. Staring down the Batrider right now, but Whisper does manage to back his way out again. So it seems like Collapse wants to try and chase for this. Sadly, the Creep Wave does make it kind of obvious they were going for that chase, so... The Team Spirit aren't going to look to back their way out. EG grouping up down at the bottom side of the map, so looking to maybe try and make some form of play, but it seems like Team Spirit have already retreated. So back and forth this game too. Wind probably currently sitting at 56% the way of Team Spirit, by the way. Very, very close. Yeah. I, I don't disagree. I think it... When it comes down to it, if they play their cards right, Team Spirit's lineup is maybe a little bit easier to pull off, but if all these combinations come out from EG, it's just terrifying. Double Lasso, double Rupture, double Fetal Bonds. In the middle of these fights, with all of the AoE available here for EG, you will just melt on Team Spirit. So again, for Team Spirit, it's it's all about these pickoffs. It's all about the hunt. And Collapse has had the right idea. He's built up 92 damage for himself. A respectable amount, considering the slower game for himself. And But he needs a little bit more. They've got the Blink up on Whisper. So initiating for the Batrider is going to be even more straightforward now. Poshka, Fisher will connect. Whisper still trying to get there for the lasso. Sprank away from a Poshka, but they've definitely got the control this time, I think. A Poshka? He's a tanky boy, but not tanky enough. He's gone. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe top played another fight to break out. I mean, Lull's still around, but Matthew's the one rushing him. Blink in, Matthew breaks the Lincolns, goes for the Soulbind, but there's nobody nearby to latch to. He's alright. It's a lot of commitment just for the inch, right? Like, you see that happen. The lead for Team Spirit goes up from 1k to 5k anyway. As they're working the map, Yatoro. Again, Batch are not too far off. Like, they're using the space really efficiently on Team Spirit. You've got the BKB ready and collapse. I'm going for the defusal next. They see Pakas. But, do it because. backs off in time. There's just so much space to farm on the map these days, isn't there? Just... There's always somewhere to hide. Yatoro showing mid lane, but also not going to get really caught, though they do have some nice vision now. Yeah, they do spot Yatoro going back into the Dire Triangle. Immediate smoke out from EG, trying to make their move Good towards scan. that area. But the scan does reveal where they are, and Team Spirit, they, they just read this movement perfectly. Has 
it's still going, still get caught out, but it's gonna posh go up front again. This is not the kill you want. Nope. Oh, see, small might just take it. It's a slow one, though. It's a very, very slow one. His team is right behind him, too. This is not going to be the freest kill he's ever seen. See, Smile oh. jumping right. Ember collapse. He's got the jewel out. Oh, they've dropped the golem, but it doesn't matter. They've got to shake it down. There's still a nice fatal bonds, but there's no follow-up to this, I don't think. EG might want to just wait for Chris Luck to be back up to, to try and force another fight, because the shaker just has too much impact not to have. Yeah, it's a big pickoff this time for Team Spirit. They bait out that chase. They chase way too far for Miposhka. Roshan a minute and a half on respawn, so you don't have an instant advantage here for Team Spirit. But you have a lot of tools from Team Spirit, right? Like the Ags reveal is there for Mira. Double Ancient Seal is huge. Double Mystic Flare can cut off an area quite nicely as well. And just really great patience from Team Spirit. They see that opportunity. Collapse comes in with a duel. They find a big target. He's got 120 damage now on that LC. 20 to 14, 6, 6k lead still standing for Team Spirit. Uh, EG, they still have what it takes, but they have to be careful. You can't... You, you just, just stop chasing Bambi. You know, Bambi's not the objective here. Let's spot. Link away in time. CEG, very well aware that Team Spirit uh -huh. for that next Roshan. Your Toro. Onto Whisper, and that's your Batrider gone. That's not good news. Not the start that EG wanted. They are still looking at moving oh. in. Echo committed. They found the Troll Warlord, but Yatoro's still alive. No. He gets the Battle Trance off with the BKB. Just look at the hill coming out. Hands up. Wave him goodbye. Everyone's just getting wiped. EG have got no chance in this fight. That's rough. Oh, the timing's way off too. Roshan's just about to respawn. And Yatoro goes elsewhere. Tries to repair a lane. But it's only seven seconds away. A big advantage for Team Spirit to come into. And just the, f the way that fight breaks out, right? As we can see in the replay, the positioning there for Whisper on the side, I mean, it starts with a really good slam. But, man, if you can't chain stun the troll, he just goes from 1 to 0, uh, from 0 to 100 really damn fast. And just the roots through the debuffing, it's, it's too much to handle. Like, that's why the Bloodseeker theoretically is decent, but if you can't kite out this troll, if you can't disarm him, he he'll just wreck face on these... With single targets to kind Whisper. of burst down. Duel out again. They've caught the bat, and Yatoro is there with the follow up damage. Though a nice fisher to delay things just a little bit, but not long enough. 186 dual damage now on Collapse. Team Spirit, they will find themselves a very easy bottom tier 2 tower. And now suddenly 16k advantage ahead. EG, they have, uh, to say the least, dropped the ball in this game, uh, game number two. That they have. Roshan's open for the side of Team Spirit now as well, down bot. Although, again, they're not... Ah, they'll make their way. And eh, Yator can deal with his solo. As the Troll Warlords tend to do. No problems here. Even without any sort of life steal. Can get that done for his team. The side of EG can't really contest. Their high ground is pretty damn strong. Again, this is where you have to be cautious about clumping up in the tight area for Team Spirit in the push shop. Soul bind, double bonds, double lasso, double rupture, golem drop, slam on top. There's a lot that can happen here. So I think Team Spirit might take it cautiously unless they find a big pickoff. Which they certainly can. Let's see if that opportunity presents itself. A 20 to 20. Well, they've got Chris Luck. That's a huge target. And with the Mystic Flare, I think Chris Luck might just be dead as the Arcane Bolt following him up. They missed the swash. They're trying. They're trying. Sea Smile still getting away. Oh, it's close, but no Ooh. cigar. Yeah, it's just a little bit short, the concussive, not quite enough to clean up. <laughs> that's that's a warning shot. Like these duels coming up from collapse, they're just insane. They need they need more than one Lincolns here. It feels like uh, at least one additional Lincolns to help the cause here. If they can find the space to farm that up, but they don't have that map control already. Just trying to go for the BKB here, Chris Luck. Needing some way of stemming back the storm. That is Team Spirit right now. Full Silver Edge up and running for Yatoro. So even more output. Nice little break for him to play with. Into the Ags. I mean, I, I kind of want to see him get the... Uh, oh, Takas? 
getting jumped, Yatoro. He's dead. Perfect initiation by himself with the battle trance. He's just... He's just deleted. And this is when you know that you're in big trouble. When Yatoro is just casually taking out your Pos one by himself. This is, uh... This is where things are troublesome. Is now even collapsed. Fighting Whisper on his own. Look at this panda. Panda's trying to get away, but he gets bashed. Oh, it gets worse. Uh, My goodness. I mean, they didn't have they didn't have any forward vision, you know, and no vision in the triangle. Uh, their wards are really far out right now to try to spot out Team Spirit, but it's not really giving them too much. Like even a casual sentry on the triangle would have given a response here for Pakas. Instead, their high ground's gonna be under siege. Age is still up for three minutes. A lot of time here for Yatoro. BKB in the backpack. And again, with Troll, it doesn't take too long to melt these objectives, Mike. It certainly does not. Spirit. Midrax is, uh, is gonna melt very, very quickly. Onto the top racks they go, I think, as collapses just dealing with the tier 2 tower. No real reason to back their way out, that's for sure. But they are going to do so. Seems like even with the Aegis up for two and a half minutes, they see Picard's respawning, they will pay respect. Yeah. They do they... draw lines towards the bottom lane, though. So they might want to enter th through there instead. I think the ideal for Team Spirit is still a pick off into high ground. Like, if you go into the 5v5, if EG, again, funnel you into a tight spot, it can Chris get Lock. dicey. Chris Lock! Chris Lock! Oh, no. he's caught! I don't think there's much of a way out of this, though. He's gonna try Chris Lock, but no, he is down! Just trying to find any bit of farm he can- Lol? Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, Lol just doing uh, happy laps. You know, this is my McDonald's uh, experience these days, Jonathan. The youngins just get these stupid cars and drive around McDonald's for some reason. Lol will do, do the same. Really? It's an what? Australian what thing, is... apparently, John. What the? Legit. What is you up buy with a car, man? you go to McDonald's car park. That's what they do these days. I don't know. <laughs> That's what Lol did. Hi, what's up with the Pangoliers and representing Australian culture? We had KP with a burnout. Lol yeah. with a happy lapse, apparently, and yeah. the high ground melting. Well, there is still one Rax left. They'll go up to the top lane. I mean, Picard, he's still alive, he's still got buyback, but is he that much of a threat right now? I, I just don't know if Team Spirit really consider him to be. Hmm. There is only a minute left on the Aegis, to be fair, so... You might want to wait, but then again, Yatoro just hits level 25 now with the Wisdom Rune. So he's got this level 25 talent. He's looking at Chris Luck as we speak, and Chris Luck has an affinity of running right into Yatoro. Lasso, though, a double lasso, in fact, but it doesn't matter. They are still just getting absolutely yeah, no destroyed as Picard is going to try to move in, do it one last time, but he is down. No buyback no available. Buybacks. He bought, he just spent all his gold. He went all in. GG is called. They can't do it. EG, they'll get 2 0 here by Team Spirit. And I, I can't say anyone was necessarily expecting much different, John, from.